So we're okay. gonna try something we haven't tried before. Hello everyone and welcome back to Building Vilda. Last week we promised we would be painting Vilda with the first interior coat of primer. And we hope we sparked your curiosity to see her new sexy look. Originally we thought she would be white, but we forgot that the paint we had ordered some time ago was a mix of off-white and grey. So, in this episode, we are sharing with you our plan for our first experience with using an airless spray painting machine. You will get to see us in action and, of course, you'll see the result. Or most of it, as we did face a few challenges. Smells like freshly painted boat. <laughs> So we're okay. gonna try something we haven't tried before. We will uh, paint using an airless spray gun. We will and, paint the uh, interior of the boat. Yeah. With a primer from Jutun. So we have two shades here, a grey and a, an off-white. And we will mix them into a light grey. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we will try and spray the entire interior with that. And the tricky you. part is to get the correct <laughs> amount of paint from each of the buckets, yeah. uh, from each of the shades of white and grey, so that we can get uh, the same Consistent color. Coat. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll sort that out with a magically perfectly uh, scaled bucket. <laughs> or two. So, yeah. So, take so each of these big containers is 20 liter, right? With 15 liters of paint. So step one is mix the two paints to get an even shade of color. And yeah. step two is mix the harner into the paint yes. to be able to spray. Yes. Yes. And maybe not use... And we don't know Everything. if we, we don't know how need the much entire paint. quantity for the the surface yeah. that we want to paint. We might have some yeah. excess paint, which is mm. good, but mm. uh, after we have sprayed uh, one of the hulls, yeah. we can check how much we've used and how much we are left yeah. with, and uh, have a better understanding of uh, yeah. how much we need for the rest of the surface. Mm. And we also don't know how the spray gun will work so uh, it's I, not a professional machine it's one for no. personal use but, it, but uh, and and we've taken a nozzle or i've ordered a special nozzle on recommendation from uh, a, a painter, painter. Mm -hmm. but he recommended two nozzles and, and i don't know which one's gonna work the best so, so we can try and see so we'll try the the small nozzle mm -hmm. it's, a, it's called a 213 for anybody who cares. A Wagner. And if that doesn't work, we'll go with a 215. I think it's a chingilingi copy of a Wagner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From some Chinese. Year. Okay, after so much talking, it's time to get the job done. Paint is mixed, let's get to it. Ah. 
After we made sure the airless was ready for action, we transferred the paint to an improvised bucket, a clean one, just to ensure better flow of paint to the machine. We started with painting the starboard hull in the forward cabin, and yes, you see some of the orange primer here that we had rolled on two years before. Uh, then we moved into the aft cabin, and last was the galley. After the forward cabin was painted and Axel got a hang of the airless, he moved on to the aft cabin, leaving the galley for last. After the starboard hull was done, we had to continue in the evening with the port side since we had already mixed a new batch of paint. So we carried on with the job. We were slow, but the progress was good and Vilda was looking so much better than before. The grey was a bit too grey, more grey than we had hoped for, but we were moving forward and things were looking good. Well, at least until they didn't. As we were slowly moving on, the pain started to cure, it started to clog into the filter. We mixed a small new batch of paint, we tried to prime the machine again, we tried replacing the nozzle, but no luck. We were left with some paint that was hardening, and the machine would simply not want to cooperate with us anymore. We tried and we decided that 10 p.m. that day was late enough for us to call it a day and we had to stop. So I stopped filming and I rolled the remaining primer onto the aft bulkhead in the salon by hand while Axel started cleaning the airless machine so we could try to use it again the next day. Oh, smells like freshly painted boat. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why. Yeah. We, yeah, we painted a little bit yesterday. We had this fantastic plan of pa painting both halls and then the salon and the salon roof. And, and yeah, the, that didn't quite go as planned because we're amateurs. But yeah. we yeah, hopefully it does quite well. We yeah. hope. Oh, sorry. We need to uncover the windows. the windows. Okay, let me do that. And then uh, we need some light. It's too dark to film, but this is a good start.
In the next episode we will finish painting the salon and that will indeed make a difference. We will also share the lessons learned from this experience and will continue the fun. So keep watching our weekly episodes. Thanks for your support, comments and likes. We enjoy reading your feedback and look forward to sharing more of our projects.